Okay. Oscar. Good evening, teacher. How, Good evening. How are you? Fine. I am fine. And tell me, Oscar, how was your day today? What happened? Uh, today, I went to my job and I went to to help my 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 son with his homework mm -hmm. and exam uh, and we have to to I I I was playing with my with my daughter too uh, with uh, song number number uh, of of ribbon ribbon some numbers of a little a little a little of of ribbon ribbon okay, okay. yes yes uh, uh, de esconderlos <laughs> esconderlos ah, to... like uh, like a uh, escondelero but we you have to to found the number in the house okay uh -huh. yes <laughs> i i don't know this game but okay all hey. right is a idea her idea <laughs> ah, okay okay that's good that's good a, a lot of imagination <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. and how many children do you have oscar two children ah, okay. uh, uh, my son have uh, eight years old is and my son is and, yeah yes yes my son is is a year so and my daughter is three years old. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, and when they are very young, they have a big, big, big imagination. Yes, a lot, a lot. They have a lot of imagination. For example, in the pandemic, we play a lot of, of games uh, every day. Every day they have a, invent a, a game yes it's fun because that for the kids it's wonderful to invent games okay okay uh, so let's take a look when you were young what was your favorite game kimberly when you were young what was your favorite game i don't like games <laughs> i was a uh, very a child, very quiet, and I don't know. I was shy, <laughs> so no, no. A game, no, like just um, patin, patinar. Okay, skate. Skate y bicicleta. Okay, and ride a bicycle. Bicycle. Okay, yeah, that's, all. But games, that's no, it. Games, no. Okay, all right. Sandra, what about you? What games do you like as a child? Maybe thieves and police. Ah, yes. In English, the name is cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what did you like? Did you like to be the cop or did you like to be the robber? for for sorry for me i am i prefer be a robber <laughs> the robber the robber okay and for you sandra the cop the cop ah you see I, sandra I, look for you oscar and shoot you chancletazo in the head <laughs> how, how do you say escondelero in English, hide and seek. I hide is. and seek. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, very good. I'm glad we have several people. We're starting off with our ideas and some things about our childhood. Today, we're going to be looking at statements with time phrases. Time. So let's first look what phrases we're going to learn. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Okay. So let's take a look at those statements. Make sure that we are clear. Okay. So the first statement is past, present, or future. It's past. It's past. Very good. That means that before you did the action, but now no. That is the idea for used to. Before, yes, but now no. What about statement number two, two years ago? Past, present, or future? It's past two. It's past. But the difference with used to is maybe you continue today. But used to, no, maybe. Used to, no more. This is the difference. And the last statement, in five years? Future. Future, exactly. So we're gonna talk about you and your life. So as a child, two years ago, this is two years ago, is right before the pandemic. Ah, how was your life before the pandemic? Do you remember? And then of course, the last statement is for the future, in five years. How do you imagine your life in five years? It's okay, the questions, the statements? Yes, teacher. Okay, so with our partners, we come up with our ideas and what we have. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. 
It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60 Jose Meth, do you have problems connecting? All right, so any questions, any words that you wanted to say or activities that you don't remember? Teacher, yes. uh, when you use used to, the next verb is, is, is basic, right? It's correct. Basic verb. It's okay. correct, Eric, excellent. Hey, okay. congratulations, Eric. I like the English. I, I, I like know. I know, I know. I, I improve. <laughs> yes. I improve. This is the idea. The idea is every time improve. It's my mission, teach. Improve a lot of every and day. Get a job and get a job with the English. Yeah, thank you. Good. Teacher, I, I have yeah. a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how Oscar. Do say, how do you say in English tantarro? It's, it's like a game, but I don't know. How do you say in English tantarro? Or you, you didn't play? <laughs> I didn't play. I don't know what this game is. Ah, okay. It's like a, oh, escondelero. I don't know. I don't know who do you say escondelero to. <laughs> it was in the chat. Escondelero was hide and seek. Ah, okay. See, I remember hide and seek. It's like a, it's like a hide and seek. 
but you you use a ball. A ball and, and do you have to to put uh, pat, patear the the ball mm -hmm. and you have to to hide in to hide in, in this moment. You shoot a ball and you need, and you go to the to the pick up the ball, right? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. I played it. Play it's very, very, it's very nice, very nice. It's like a high and seek, but you use a ball, and you don't throw the ball to to, to oh, touch the you, person. No, you put with with your with your foot. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I I never I never, never heard this game. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know this game. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, but it sounds fun. It sounds fun. Yes. 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 Yes, Rosa. Um, yo le quería hacer una pregunta. Si en el no 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 podía sugerir alguna página donde pudiéramos practicar. El listen, the reading, el speaking in English. Yes, in class. Yes. But in English, Rosa. Yeah. Practice in class. The English, the, the videos we have from here, and also the links, the links for in, in the platform. Okay. But remember, the speaking, really, the speaking is necessary to people. So is the list, the speaking is more difficult. The other is no problem. Only put YouTube listening practice. Uh, Only sí, put. Me refería ya ya estando o ya o sea para refe para estudiar um, fuera de clases pues para yeah. practicar ya. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, Para más que todo, practicar ya fuera de clase. Ah, I understand. No, Rosa, difícilmente vas a encontrar lugares para practicar la parte oral fuera de clases. Y eso es porque okay. la gente que, eh, que el, puedes hacer un grupo, por ejemplo, con los compañeros, ahí está el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí está todo el día. Ni un solo mensaje se mandan en inglés. No. Uh -huh. Ahí está para que practiquen. Ahí pueden poner, good morning, Sandra. How are you? Oscar, what are you doing? Hey, Eric, what are you eating? Ahí, ahí está para practicar. El problema es que en realidad la mayoría le da pena. Yes. Somos penosos. Yes, Nuestra teacher. cultura. Yes. Nuestra yes. cultura es penosa. Uh, sí, eh, yo siento que tal vez, como usted dice, va, va pena. Y algunos que trabajan también. Sí, no, y por eso es lo bueno del de, de WhatsApp, porque no importa si trabajas, ahí cualquiera te puede contestar. No está dependiendo de una persona. Ahí puedes decir, good morning, how are you? Y el que puede contesta. Ok, ok. Porque yo en esas tres áreas siento que todavía me pesan algunas cosas. Y por eso le estaba poniendo de sugerencia con una página para practicar. Sí, pero la, la, lo además de listening, speaking, reading, grammar, existen miles y miles de páginas en internet. Pero para hablar es bien difícil. Porque la gente para hablar es normalmente te tiene que poner de acuerdo. Por ejemplo, ahorita es una hora de hablar. Pero pasando eso, ¿cuánta gente quiere continuar? ¿Cuánta gente se quiere conectar a las 10 de la noche? ¿Cuánta gente de otro país quiere enseñarte inglés gratis? Sí. Ajá. Es, por ejemplo, yo quiero aprender español. Rosa, vos sos nativa en español. ¿Me puedes recomendar sí. una página donde yo puedo practicar el español? No. Exacto. Y eso que sos en español es, es por la misma idea, pero si yo quiero practicar gramática, lecturas, eh, vocabulario, en internet se encuentra todo. Pero la parte más difícil, Rosa, es el hablado. Para eso es tener una hora de clase para practicarlo, porque aparte de eso, hay bien poquitos lugares 
por ejemplo, ex compañeros que puedes practicar con ellos o alguien, pero como vos decís, es el horario de trabajo. La mayoría que puede practicar y quiere practicar no tiene el tiempo en el día para hacerlo. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh -huh. I, I have a, a lot of problem with me listening. Okay, so Fernando, it's no problem. You have a lot of opportunities to improve the listening. The, the opportunity is listen, but no read. Listen small activities. Watch small videos. Look at cartoons. Mm -hmm. The number one to improve the listening is with cartoons. Okay. Because the cartoons, the design of cartoons is for children to understand with the only with seeing, not necessarily with understanding the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. It helps a lot. But the most important is continue, continue. In, in internet, in, uh, in Facebooks, in others, make a group. Mm -hmm. Go for, join the different groups. So, but the, but the difficult is the speaking. Mm. The others, no problem. But, the, oh, okay. but for example, the speaking is, is difficult. For example, I understand. Maybe, Mm -hmm. Maybe Rosa, you like mu music, Rosa? Uh, pop. You like pop music? Sí. Okay. So then, Rosa, so for example, if you like pop music, okay, then here I send you a link there for every, and there you can listen to pop music and improve your listening, like Fernando. And Fernando and you, you listen and you select. You select the words for the song. You learn the lyrics. You learn the letters of the song. And in English, it's a game like this. Okay. Okay. And if you want to improve, the, the best is reading. Reading help you with the vocabulary. More reading, more vocabulary, more understanding. Yeah. Okay? So Rosa and Fernando, you try the link. And tomorrow you tell me you like, you don't like, is you understand or no. Okay? Okay, did you? Rosa? Okay. Excellent. You try and we see. In this moment, we are going to do the listening exercise, and then we're going to answer three questions from the activities, okay? So let me share in our platform 4.8. 4.8, listen and answer the topic. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. 
Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. Page 60. In number one, what was the topic? Environment. Environment. Okay. In number two? Transportation. Family, say. Okay. Family transportation. Sorry, transportation. 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 And number three? Family. Okay. Listen again and check. Listen and check. D. Exercise five, part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a... Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try in the next one, 205. Listen to people to children living on this street. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. It's okay, all of them? Number one? Environment? Yes, it's okay. Number two, transportation? It's okay. And it's number okay two, too. families? Families. Yes. All right, excellent. Those are the topics. So as you can see, we're talking about the changes in the life. In this moment, we are going to talk about changes. The changes in population, transportation, families, environments, cities, and shopping. So you- Teacher. Yes. Can you explain me a little bit what is environment? Sorry. Yes. Environment is, for example, before Santa Tecla was not a city. Santa Tecla had many trees. It was uh, for coffee, it's a plantation. Oh, this, okay, okay. Uh-huh, the environment. Okay. Before, before, obviously, the house, right? Just before, for example, a, a multiplaza. Multiplaza was the, this area, many trees, the environment, no, no buses, no pollution. Ah, okay. okay. For example, my grandmother, when my grandmother was, was young, when my grandmother was a teenager, she said that go to the river, and in the river, she saw fish. And it's normal to see animals, fish, to get. But now in El Salvador, all the rivers contaminated. Environment is like before the house, like uh, forest. Correct. Like the forest, the air, 
the, the pollution, the noise. This is the environment. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So with our partners, we're going to talk about the different topics, population, transportation, families, environment, cities, and shopping. What are the difference before and now? Compare. So from before and now, what are the differences or the same for these different situations? Okay. Okay, okay. teacher. Clear. It's okay, the idea? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Hang on. Let's change time. Many topics, many topics.
Hi, we're about to study conditional, conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me you your consequence problems, using the structure. Fernando, did you have some problems? Yes, I have a problem. Okay, I tried yeah. to put you in another group.
Okay, any questions or vocabularies about pollution and the, the topics that you had? Transportation, families, environment, shopping cities, any vocabularies or anything you're not sure? No. No. Okay, good. Now we're going to learn our last topic for today. The last topic for today are conditionals. Do you remember conditionals? We saw a few days ago. Do you remember conditionals? No. Okay, let's watch the video to help us remember. The conditional are those sentences that we begin with if. For example, if. Now here we're going to learn a little bit about the conditionals. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if, so we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present, main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. Okay, now look, how is the verb with if? If the verb is base form. If the verb is the same base form, but for he, she, and it, we always have to put the S. For he, she, and it, we put S. And then of course we have the last one, different pronoun, but all of them are the same. They are saying that in this situation, the other activity happens. So if this situation happens, save money, then the next one is a reality. That's the idea of if. If are to give you examples of what else is going to happen. Okay, let's finish listening. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, and that's when we use it. All about the things that you think are going to happen. Now we studied a little bit before, like what if? If you could go to any country, ah, where would you go, right? So here in our chat, we have many questions to help us with the if. We're going to practice those questions with our partners. The idea is don't memorize, only think about your partner and answer the different if questions.
Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have lots and lots of questions. The idea is we try with if. Okay. All right.
Nady, how is the conditional? It's okay? Any questions with your conditional? Yes. yes. It's okay. Okay. It's okay? Yes. yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Tomorrow we are going to finish unit four. Tomorrow we finish lesson four. We complete it. That way we are reviewed the conditionals. We look at the new topic, the listening and the reading. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay Any teacher. questions for today? Okay. Today, no questions? No, no, no teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for connecting. I hope you have a nice night and I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Any questions, Sandra?